Hello and welcome to Create Dependent Dropdowns with Spill Ranges. My name's Jeff. I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. We're trying to create two dropdowns. The first dropdown should contain a list of the regions found in my choices table. Should be a unique list. And the second dropdown, rep, really depends on the selected region, right? Uh, and so the way that we're going to approach this is we're going to use dynamic array functions and spill ranges. Now, at the time I'm shooting this video, these features are available to the O365 subscribers with the Insiders Fast channel. Um, these changes are going to be you know, sent out to uh, Excel subscribers uh, over time. So depending on when you're watching this, you, your version of Excel may or may not have um, these features. But I do want to point out how to use them because they are <laughs> they're great. Um, so first, let's create a dynamic list of regions. And this list that's going to appear here is going to feed the dropdown. So what we want to do is we want to create a unique, okay, and this unique function is a dynamic array function. It can return one or more values. And so we just define the range, and this is going to be our region column of the choices table. Close the function and hit enter. <laughs> okay, and since that formula returned more than one result, the results spill into the cells below. Okay, this is a spill range. Now, how can we use the spill range? We can use it with uh, data validation. So let's go ahead and select our region cell and go to data, data validation, where we want to allow a list. And this list is equal to B13, but if we hit OK right now, this is going to give our dropdown one single choice. The way that we reference a spill range is by using the pound or hashtag at the end, that's a spill reference. We click OK, and if it worked, yes, this is our region dropdown. Now let's work for reps. For reps, we wanna basically get a unique, of, a unique list of reps depending on the region selected. So we're gonna use a filter, right? We're gonna use a filter function, equals filter. Again, this is a, a dynamic array function. Um, recently released, so your version of Excel may not have filter. But basically what we do is we say, we want to return the values from which range, okay? From the choices tables rep column, comma, but only include those rows where, and this is where we define our filter expression, where the region column is equal to our selected region. Close function and enter, okay? <laughs> and this formula returns multiple results, and so the results spill into the cells. Now, if this works, when we select a different region, south, yes, this updates accordingly. East, yes, that updates. So now all we need to do is get this spill range into this data validation dropdown, which we can easily do by going to data, data validation. We want to allow a list. That list is equal to this cell, but not just the cell, the whole spill range. So we're going to add a pound or hashtag. Click OK. And if it worked, yes, these reps made it in. Let's go and try north. And this, these look good. And, um, and south. And yep, I think we got it. Okay. So this is how to set up, create a setup, you know, a dependent or sometimes are referred to as cascading or conditional dropdowns, where the choices of a dropdown depend on the selection made in a previous dropdown using dynamic array functions and spill ranges. All right, thanks. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.